Hello, and welcome back to One More Barlow, One More Beer, episode 13, we have Lost Coast Brewery IPA from Eureka, California. I used to live a block away from this place, and I actually have never heard of this IPA, I recently discovered it. It's not bad, it's a mild PA. Uh, they do a really good downtown brown from years and years ago. It's still around. I'll have to show it sometime. Okay, enough beer. Let's get into this awesome queen Maiden USA knife. Look at this awesome tin it comes in. Now they've released their trappers in stag bone. They've released their trappers in green jig bone like this Barlow and smooth red bone well here's the barlow it is queen q g p s b 281 queen green bond comes in this tin with this little i'd call it a barren sun baggie and the nice tender like buck does really cool really cool packaging um these go for just under $55 at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, probably $54.95 or something like that. And uh, Queen is a Smoky Mountain Knife Works brand. This is made in USA. Beautiful green jig bone. The Queen, the Queen. Awesome round shield. It's not crooked. I picked this up from Chicago Knife Works for $46 and change. I recently looked, they went up to 47 and change. I got this because the red smooth bone was not available yet. I wanted to see the quality. And boy, it's good. You see Queen Cutlery Co. Number 22, I'm sure it's the pattern. And on the blade there, we got 1095 carbon steel. Comes with a pen blade. Different shape pen blade than uh, Case and others. Now, these queens, there's been a debate on whether or not they're made by Baronson. My theory is yes, they are. I have the beer tender. Same blade configuration. Now, this one cants down a little bit more. But exactly the same size. They're like three and a half inches closed. Look at the blades. Tell me this is not a Baron Sun. And look at this tin. Baron Sun's releasing some trappers in the exact same tin, the exact same little baggie. This is made by Baron Sun. Now, Baron Sun, they haven't been known for the best quality, but this is actually a really good quality knife for under $55. For a carbon steel blade, really nice. You can see Queen USA. I think it is maybe a stamp. Let's check fit and finish. Back springs, zero gaps. No gapping. Um, we got half stops on this traditional blade configuration. Like I said, a lot like the beer tender. Look at these. Yeah, it's a Baron Sun, which is a good thing. It really is made in USA. Now, it's not quite as polished as a case, like the back. You can see it's a little bit thicker than the case. Uh, this is the case carbon for about $72, $73. You can get this in true stag bone. I think they're about $80 at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, something like that. Great fit and finish. Blade centering, dead down the center. Perfect. Gotta love that. So now that I know that this is good, I'm going to order the Red Bone, of course. And this is a great user. Like I said, three and a half inches, so a good, nice size Barlow. Pin blade, I guess we could compare it to a case. See the difference? Big difference. 
I love my Case Barlows. I always will. I'm really glad we have another manufacturer making them in the USA with good fit and finish, center blades, no gaps, and beautiful, beautiful green thumb. Look at that jigging. Pins are nice and flush, good transitions to the bolsters, and a nice shield. It's straight. Hold on one second. Here we go. Now this is my old Chinese Queen Barlow. And this is great. Decent fit and finish. Great price. Smoky Mountain has discontinued their Chinese ones. It says great snap, great walking talk. But different. You know, this is the Chinese one. Um, this is awesome. Brown saw cut bone. Um, let's get into the pull on this. I'd say probably a five, five and a half. Now it doesn't really snap abruptly into the half stop. Listen to the snap. Really good snap on opening. Now again, going into the half stop, it's not like a boing. No. Now this Baron son. Really nice snap into the half stop. So maybe it'll work in over time. Now this has uh, stainless steel liners. Maybe there's a difference there. Just to be noted, if you're expecting a really strong, now it has a good half stop. It's there, it's not going anywhere. And then the snap, great snap. Same with the pin blade. Not a really strong into the half stop. Great open. See, kind of, kind of just lazily goes in there. And this is a freshie from the factory. Great snap. So if you want a good American-made Barlow, Queen is back for sure. And I was looking at these in the trappers, the green jig trappers. I think they're about the same price, maybe $57. I, but Lord knows I have plenty of trappers. Um, and now I'm working on getting my Barlow collection up there, for sure. Um, I, I am so happy with this for $46 and change, $47 range. I'm going to get the Red Smooth Bone, for sure. Now, I'll probably hold off on their Stag Bone Barlow, which is really nice, because it's about the same price as a case. Actually, it's more than a case. And if I'm going to spend 70 upwards, I'll get a case bone stag, single bladed. Really nice, really thin. Not to knock this. This is a great Barlow. It's that more budget friendly Barlow for people who want to get into a, a USA made Barlow and not spend an arm and a leg. Now I like, uh, a lot of Rough Rider Barlows, um, Arthur Wright and Son Barlows. There's a lot of great Barlows that are not made in USA. But thank you very much, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, for bringing this awesome Barlow and brand back to the USA. And like I said, you know, the back springs aren't super polished like Case, but that's a nice back spring for sure. No gapping, center blades, a beautiful tin. What more could you ask for? Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. Um, I hit a thousand subs yesterday. Most of you know that. I've been spending all day replying to, it feels like, feels like hundreds and hundreds of comments uh, of people congratulating me on hitting 1,000 subs. And thank you very much. Which, boy, it sure does take time, you know, sitting there uh, typing every reply back. And then, of course, got to do some dishes and make some dinners. Well, it's Friday night. I'm going to enjoy my Lost Coast Brewery from Eureka, California. That was a crazy, crazy little town. Nice seaside town. Um... My music career didn't start there, 
but uh, met a lot of really cool people in the music scene there. And eventually I moved from there up here to the Northwest Seattle to be more a part of a music scene with a little bit more exposure. And just note, if you guys look at an underwater map, you know, or look at a map and it shows the underwater uh, fault lines and everything in California, there's a big ridge that runs straight across the Pacific, right into the town of Eureka, California. So if there's a big one in California, this town's going under for sure. Well, not to end on a downer note, I just found that fascinating. Let's get it one more look. Really unique jigging on this. I don't think I've seen that jigging anywhere else. Kind of nice. You guys have a fantastic Saturday. Be kind, take chances, and stay sharp.